Chapter 2. Surah Bakara. Part 2. Section 7 of Chapter 2. Large Scale Structure of the Universe. Seven Sky Universe. Main Discussion. Verse 29. He, the one who created for you what was in the assembly of lands, Mafi Artijamian, moreover, infused his force, gravitational force, Thuma Istawa, into the sky, Ila Isamai, and fashioned them into seven skies, and he of everything is all knowing. Remarks. The above mentioned verse suggests that the universe operates in cycles. Additionally, there are verses in the Quran which explicitly state that the universe was created at the beginning of the preceding cycle, first cycle. Figure 2.6 Assembly of Lands The cycles of the universe are briefly discussed in the previous chapter. The universe produced elements up to carbon in the primordial fireball of the first cycle. Smoke Moreover, extended and infused his force, gravitational force, Thuma Istawa, into the sky, Ila Isamai, while it had been smoke. Al Quran 41 to 11. Later, in the same first cycle, the universe produced elements at least up to silicon, or even up to iron, in the hot big stars. The stars exploded and scattered the elements into the space. Thus, when the universe of the first cycle contracted, there was assembly of lands, Mafi Ardijamian, produced from the heavier elements, as the verse under discussion says, He the one who created for you what was in the assembly of lands, Mafi Ardijamian. Earlier, Allah infused gravitational force into the universe of the first cycle. Moreover, infused his force, gravitational force, Thuma Istawa, into the sky, Ila Isamai. The universe contracted faster and faster under the overwhelming force of gravity, gradually diminishing in size until it compressed into a fireball, a hot, dense assembly of lands. As a result of the intense pressure and temperature of contraction, the universe bounced out from this fiery state, initiating a restart of expansion. This event marked the beginning of the present Seven Sky Universe, the second cycle of its existence. Figure 2.6 Big Bounce So the verse under discussion says, He the one who created for you what was in the assembly of lands, Mafi Ardi Jamian, moreover, infused his force, gravitational force, Thuma Istawa, into the sky, Ila Isamakati, and fashioned them into seven skies, and he of everything is all-knowing. Al-Quran 2.29 The skies are waves of space, one inside another, like the peels of onion. There are seven skies in the universe. Matter could rapidly coalesce into galaxies due to the waved space. The expansive skies also ensured a balanced distribution of matter throughout the universe. This is the Quran's model of the universe. It has received substantial support from the Webb Space Telescope. The telescope has discovered several galaxies that formed within 500 million years after the Big Bang. The swift formation of the large galaxies hints at the existence of wave space. Skies. For instance, the galaxy GZ 9P3 with a redshift Z equals 9.3 formed within 510 million years after the initiation of the present universe, second cycle. Remarkably, this galaxy is ten times larger than the Milky Way and hosts bright stars containing elements like carbon, oxygen, and silicon. The presence of heavier elements observed in the early universe of the present cycle implies that they were produced in the preceding cycle, first cycle. This suggests that the present universe may have originated with a big bounce rather than from a big bang. Do not the unbelievers see that the skies and the lands were joined together as assembly of lands, fireball, before we clove them asunder? Big bounce. Al Quran 2130. Large scale structure of the universe, skies. The aim of this topic is to describe the large scale structure of the present universe, second cycle. The large scale structure of the universe is not yet discovered. But the verse under discussion says that the universe is structured as seven skies. Moreover, 
infused his force, gravitational force, Thoma Istawa, into the sky, Ila Isamai, and fashioned them into seven skies. Here, I will discuss the Quran's view about the skies. Samawat. The subject is dealt in three parts, as under. Part 1. General Appearance of the Universe Part 2. Large-Scale Structure of the Universe. Science Part 3. Large-Scale Structure of the Universe. The Quran Part 1. General Appearance of the Universe 1. Must know the general appearance of universe to understand the skies. The subject is discussed under the following headings. 1.1. The Solar System 1.2. Milky Way Galaxy 1.3. Orientation 1.4. The Changing Appearance of the Night Sky 1.5 Other Galaxies 1.6 Orientation 1.7 Group Cluster Supercluster 1.8 Summary of Part 1 Readers Who already know these basics may skip this part. The part is inspired by General Appearance of the Universe written by Bertrand Russell in his book ABC of Relativity.1.1 The Solar System Our Earth is one of the planets of the solar system. The shape of the Earth is like an orange. The Earth spins on its axis once in a day and revolves around the Sun once in a year. The solar system includes eight planets and their moons, three dwarf planets, Ceres, Pluto, and Eris, and their moons, billions of small bodies, asteroids, and interplanetary dust and gas. The system is bound by gravity. Figure 2.7 The Solar System 1.2 Milky Way Galaxy The stars are not haphazardly scattered throughout the universe. They are grouped into systems called galaxies. Figure 2.8 Milky Way Galaxy Likely Overhead View The galaxy in which our solar system is located is called Milky Way Galaxy. There are about 200 billion stars in the galaxy. Our sun is a medium-sized yellow star among those. Other than the stars, there are huge quantities of free dust and gas scattered in the interstellar space of the galaxy. These free dust and gas would be enough to produce another 20 billion stars. The stars, free dust and gas form a central hub, nucleus, and several spiral arms. The whole galaxy is rotating slowly in the space like a giant Catherine wheel. The average distance between the stars is 4 light years. One light year is 10 million million kilometers approximately. The galaxy measures 100,000 light years from edge to edge. The central hub of the galaxy is 20,000 light years in diameter. Our solar system is located in the Orion arm. It is called Orion Spur as well. It is a small arm between Perseus and Carina Sagittarius arms. The distance of solar system is about 26,000 light years from the galactic center. Figure 2.9 Milky Way Galaxy Likely Side View The width of the galaxy is 10,000 light years at the center and 2,000 light years at the edge. Scientists predict that each galaxy, including our Milky Way, holds a supermassive black hole in its central hub. As the whole galaxy is rotating, the solar system is speeding at a rate of 220 kilometers per second. Despite the enormous speed, the galaxy is so huge that one complete orbit takes 200 million years, approximately 0.1.3. Orientation. We see many stars in some of the nights. It seems innumerable, but maximum 3,000 stars become visible to the naked eye in a clear dark night. From two hemispheres of the Earth, maximum 6,000 stars can be seen without a telescope. We see a very small part of the galaxy. And, as we are located inside the galaxy, we see the visible stars scattered all around the space. Mainly, this is our naked eye universe. We see a long glowing band of light too in the night sky. It is a part of the Perseus arm. It glows due to the lights of innumerable stars extending in that direction. The arm is 7,000 light years away from the Earth. One can observe a part of Carina Sagittarius arm from the southern hemisphere of the Earth. 
The arm is 7,000 light years away, in the direction of the galactic center. But it is not visible to the naked eye. 1.4. The changing appearance of the night sky. Due to the daily rotation of the Earth, the stars seem to sweep across the sky each night. And, due to the yearly rotation of the Earth around the Sun, a part of the night sky enters the day sky, and a part of the day sky enters the night sky every day. So the appearance of the sky changes from night to night, four minutes per night. If one will not consider these apparent movements, one will find the stars static. But actually, they are not static. If one could go out of the Milky Way galaxy quite a big distance, one could see the entire galaxy slowly rotating in the space. 1.5. Other Galaxies There are many galaxies in the universe. The galaxies are called Mawakin Nujumi in the Quran. Mawakin means houses, sites, and Nujumi means stars. So, Mawakin Nujumi means houses of stars. Only the galaxies can be called houses of stars. So, Mawakin Nujumi means galaxies. But nay, I swear by the houses of stars, Mawakin Nujumi, galaxies. And indeed, it surely a swear if you know great. Al Quran 56 to 7576. Figure 2.10. Mawakin Nujumi, Galaxy M 81. In the Quran, a galaxy is called Falakin as well. It is not permitted to the sun to outstrip the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. But all in Falakin, Milky Way galaxy, they are floating. Al Quran 36 to 40. It is He who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. Each in Falakin, Milky Way Galaxy, they are floating. Al-Quran 2133. Falakin means sphere, astronomy, ship, float. And as the sun and the moon are floating in the sphere, sphere of space, it is Milky Way Galaxy. The galaxies were discovered in 1920s when an American astronomer, Edwin Hubble, demonstrated that the Milky Way was not the only galaxy in the universe. There are many others. Depending on the shape, Hubble classified the galaxies into four types. Elliptical galaxy, spiral galaxy, barred spiral galaxy, irregular galaxy, a large galaxy, may contain 100 trillion stars when a dwarf galaxy contains as few as 10 million. 1 e. 1. Elliptical galaxy. An elliptical galaxy is an oval-shaped galaxy. Figure 2.11. Elliptical galaxy. 1 e. 2. Spiral galaxy A. Spiral galaxy swings out arms from its central hub. Figure 2.12. Spiral galaxy. 1 e. 3. Barred spiral galaxy A. Barred spiral galaxy looks like a spiral galaxy, but it has a bar across its center. The spiral arms begin from the ends of the bar. Figure 2.13. Barred Spiral Galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy has a small bar in its center, so it is a barred spiral galaxy. 1 e. 4. Irregular Galaxy. The irregular galaxies have no particular shape. These are normally smaller bodies. Figure 2.14. Irregular Galaxy. 1 f. Orientation. Only four neighboring galaxies are visible to the naked eye. They look like faded dots in a clear, dark night. So one has to be an astronomer to identify those. From Northern Hemisphere of the Earth, M31 Andromeda is visible like a faint, fuzzy patch. It is a spiral galaxy, 2.5 million light years away. Another, M33, is smaller than Andromeda and harder to see. M33 is a spiral galaxy located at about 2.3 million light years away. From Southern Hemisphere of the Earth, two irregular galaxies, namely Large Magellanic Cloud and Small Magellanic Cloud, are faintly visible to the naked eye. But there are billions of galaxies in the universe. The galaxies are 3,000 to 300,000 light years in diameter. Generally, they are 2 to 3 million light years, MLY, away from each other 
in a group point 1.7. Group, cluster, supercluster, wall and filament, 1.7a. Group the galaxies show distinct tendency to be collected into groups. The smallest concentration is called group. A group generally contains 50 galaxies. Several of these are major galaxies. The Milky Way galaxy belongs to a group called local group. The diameter of the local group is 10 million light years, MLY, roughly. Figure 2.15 Local group. The local group consists of two lobes in a dumbbell shape. The Milky Way and its satellite dwarf galaxies form one lobe, and Andromeda and its satellite's galaxies form another lobe. Two lobes move towards one another with a velocity of 123 kilometers per second, 0.1.7 b. Cluster the clusters are bigger formations. A cluster contains 100 to 1,000 galaxies. The intracluster medium consists of heated gas between the galaxies and has a peak temperature between 2 to 15 keV, depending on the total mass of the cluster. A few examples of the clusters are Virgo cluster, Fornax cluster, Hercules cluster, Coma cluster, etc. Figure 2.16, Cluster Virgo. The Virgo spans about 110 million light years and contains about 1,300 to 2,000 galaxies. 1.7c, supercluster, the groups, clusters, and additional isolated galaxies together form a supercluster. There are about 10 million superclusters in the observable universe. A few superclusters are Hydrocentaurus supercluster, Coma Virgo supercluster, etc. The local group belongs to Coma Virgo supercluster, 0.1.7d. Wall and filament. There are further types of concentration, such as walls and filaments, discussed in this section later. 1H. Summary of Part 1. The universe is full of galaxies with vast tracts of empty space between them. There are many stars, free dust and gas inside a galaxy. Our solar system lies in a galaxy called Milky Way Galaxy. The galaxies show a distinct tendency to be collected into group, cluster, supercluster, etc. The universe is unimaginably huge. Part 2. Large-scale structure of the universe. Science. When a metal ball depresses a soft rubber sheet, the smaller objects at close proximity tend to roll down toward the ball. Similarly, the presence of matter curves the space. Figure 2.17 curvature of space in two-dimensional view. If the space were two-dimensional, the curvature would look like the curvature of the picture. It is difficult to draw a three-dimensional sketch of the same curvature. However, it can be visualized with difficulties. Einstein proposed time as the fourth dimension. The proposition has been substantially proved. If the space were three-dimensional, the moon would fall into the earth directly, but it does not fall because of time. In four-dimensional space-time, the moon is coming straight to the Earth, but in three-dimensional view, we see it rotating around the Earth. In the process of rotation, the moon is closing to the Earth, but the rate is insignificant. The curvature of space-time has been proved by experiments that the light passing through the side of a massive object, like the Sun, bends. Thus, Einstein explained gravity as the tendency of matter to move along the curved space-time. In his view, gravity is not a force like other forces. It is felt due to the curvature of space-time. The general theory extends relativity to gravitational fields. Einstein concluded that the presence of matter distorts space and time. Space-time must be regarded together as curved. To the Edge of Eternity by John Gribben in the Encyclopedia of Space Travel and Astronomy edited by John Mann. The space-time is a dynamic entity. If a shell is fired in the direction a tank is moving, the speed of the tank gets added to the velocity of the shell. But, if a person is driving a car putting the headlights on, the speed of the car does not get added to the speed of light, because the speed of light is the ultimate speed. Figure 2.18 Curvature of Overall Universe the space of a positively curved universe 
is bent round onto itself. The light traveling in an apparently straight line will return to the point of origin. The space is like the surface of the earth, where one moving through a straight line returns to the start point. A positively curved universe is closed. The universe will eventually collapse. If the space is negatively curved, it is like the saddle of a horse. Light follows a parabolic path. The negatively curved universe is open. It will expand forever. The space may be flat, where light follows a straight path. The flat universe is the dividing line between the open universe and the closed universe. There is either just enough matter to close the universe and make it eventually collapse, or there is not quite enough so that it will expand forever. Finally, the above predictions depend on the assumption that the universe is uniform and isotropic, which was introduced by some old scientists, including Einstein, to apply gravitational dynamics to the universe as a whole. In reality, the universe may not be uniform, and it may not look the same from all points. Part 3. Large-Scale Structure of the Universe The Quran In light of the Quran, the space of the universe is waved in disguise, one inside another, like the peels of onion. These seven supergiant waves of space are seven skies. Each sky contains innumerable galaxies. The space, though waved, is continuous. The design is fit for the universe that is to roll down into the point of doom and revive with resurrected humans. I have discussed the design in the following sequence. 3.1 What summa, sky, means 3.2, nature of the sky, 3.3, what the Quran means by skies, 3.4, construction of the skies, 3.5, structures revealing the skies, 3.6, Observational Evidences 3.7 Other Indications of the Skies 3.8 Summary 3.1 What Sama, Sky, means According to following verse, the birds are held in the atmosphere of the sky, Sama. Do they not see the birds held in the atmosphere of the sky, Sama? None holds them up except Allah. Most surely, there are signs in this for a people who believe. Al-Quran 16-79 the atmosphere begins just from the surface of the earth, and the birds fly from the lowest height. Thus, according to the Quran, the sky begins from the surface of the earth. One's feet are on the ground, ard, and the rest of the body is in the sky, sama. Therefore, in the Quran, the word sama, sky, means space in general. There are three contexts where the singular word of the sky, samao, Sama -yi -h, sama -a, has been used in the Quran. The universe in the preceding cycle was a single sky universe. Therefore, the Quran has used the word of singular sky, where it has talked about an event of the preceding cycle. The universe will be rolled up and squeezed. Subsequently, the final judgment will be carried out in a different sky, beyond the universe, super sky, super space. When the Quran has spoken of the Day of Judgment, it has often utilized the word of singular sky to signify super sky or super space. The word of singular sky has been used to mean the near space of the earth as well. Therefore, while reading the Quran, if we find the use of singular sky, we should understand that the verse is speaking about an event of the preceding cycle, or of the super space, or of the near space of the earth. However, singular sky, sama, primarily means space in the Quran. It becomes clear when we discuss the nature of the sky. 3.2 Nature of the sky The sky has many qualities. The Quran says that the sky can be curved and rolled. On the day when we will roll up the skies, samawat, universe, like the rolling up of the scroll for writings, as we originated the first creation, we shall reproduce it, a promise on us. Surely, we will bring it about. Al-Quran 21-104 According to the above verse, the sky can be curved and rolled. In Einstein's view, the distribution of matter curves space, enabling the sun, the moon, and the earth to execute their complex movements precisely, preventing them from colliding directly. However, 
Could a random distribution of matter lead to the emergence of such a finely tuned universe? Hawking's proposal of a perfect initial configuration resulting from the uncertainty principle seems implausible. In fact, some acts of Allah are explained by the scientists as the acts of time. Praise be to Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the universes. Al-Quran 1 to 1. Allah extended and infused several of his elementary souls, force fields, ruse, into the space to sustain and evolve the creations. He is the creator, designer, sustainer, and evolver. We view his all-embracing acts of evolving the universe as the acts of time. On the authority of Abu Huraira, who said that the Messenger of Allah said, Allah says, Children of Adam inveigh against time, I am time, I change the day and night. Hadith e Qudsi, Bukhari, Muslim. The deeds of Allah is continuously changing the universe, so we feel the flow of time. He covers the night with the day, seeking it rapidly, and the sun and the moon and the stars controlled by his deed. Al-Quran 754 The universe is perfectly designed, curved by Allah. He configured the universe. He sustains and evolves the creations. He hears and sees. Finally, we may define space as void filled with extended elementary souls, force fields, ruse, of Allah. The extended elementary souls are discussed in previous chapter. 3.3 .3, What the Quran means by skies in the Quran, Samawat, skies, or Samawat Wallard, skies and lands, means the universe. However, in some of the verses, Samawat, skies, mean complete universe except the earth, as it is said in the following verse. Say, have ye seen partners of yours whom ye call upon besides Allah? Show me what it is they have created in the land, earth. Or have they a share in the skies? Samawat. Al-Quran 35-40. The following verse clarifies the Quran's view about the skies. And built over you seven skies. Al-Quran 79-12. Figure 2.19. And built over you seven skies. So a man standing in India has seven skies over his head, and a man standing in America has seven skies over his head. Everybody on the spherical planet Earth has seven skies over his head. Therefore, the skies should be spherical in shape, one inside another, like the peels of onion. And our Earth should be in the first, innermost sky. 3.4 Construction of the sky space is void filled with the extended elementary souls, force fields, ruse of Allah. The elementary souls are designed to sustain the matter and energies. So the accumulation of matter in a point should increase the intensity of his extended elementary souls. For example, the gravitational force and extended elementary soul of Allah is higher in an object where the amount of matter is higher. So the wavy distribution of matter in the universe has curved the space into skies. The following verses describe the formation of skies and the distribution of matter as related affairs. He said to it, Smoke, and to the lands, Come both of you willingly or unwillingly. They both said, We do come in willing obedience. So he completed them as seven skies in two days and inspired in each sky its affairs. Al-Quran 41-11-12 3.5 Structures revealing the skies. The skies are waves of space, one inside another, like the peels of onion. Allah has shaped the space into skies for the balanced expansion of the universe mainly. In the followings, I have discussed walls, filaments, voids, etc. The distribution of walls and filaments and voids indicates the existence of skies. 3.6 Wall Prior to 1989, the superclusters were known as the largest structures in the universe. The discovery of Great Wall by Margaret Geller and John Hutra has changed the idea. The Great Wall is a sheet of galaxies 750 million light years MLY, long, 200 million light years wide, and 16 million light years thick. 
A wall can span billions of light years. Superclusters are now understood to be subordinates to enormous walls or sheets. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, her CRBGW, is the largest wall discovered so far, 2013. The wall measures more than 10 billion light years in length. It is 7.2 billion light years wide and only 900 million light years thick. It is located in the direction of constellations Hercules and Corona Borealis at a distance of 10 billion light years, approximately. Another great concentration, CCLQG, is about 9.5 billion light years away in the direction of Leo. The wall is 2 billion light years in length and about 1 billion light years in width. The CCLQG may be a part of the huge LQG. They are 1.8 billion light years away from each other. The huge LQG is 4 billion light years across. Coma Wall, Sloan Wall, Sculptor Wall, Gruss Wall, Fornax Wall, etc. are some of the enormous walls. 3.7 Filaments The filaments are largest known structures in the universe. These are thread-like structures with typical lengths of 50 to 80 H1 megaparsecs formed out of gravitationally bound galaxies. Parts of a filament, where large numbers of galaxies are very close to each other, are known as superclusters. The filaments are seen around the boundaries of voids. Followings are examples of the filaments, the Perseus-Pegasus filament. It connects the pisces Centis supercluster with the Perseus-Pisces supercluster. The coma filament. The coma supercluster lies within the coma filament. It forms part of CFA-2 Great Wall. 3.8. Voids. In more recent studies, the universe appears as a collection of giant bubble-like voids, separated by walls and filaments. This network is clearly visible in the two deci Farad's Galaxy Redshift Survey. The voids occur on the scale of 100 MPC. In 2007, a supervoid was discovered in the constellation Eridanus. It coincides with WMAP cold spot. To cause a cold spot in the microwave sky, a void would have to be improbably huge, possibly a billion light years across, which does not favor current cosmological model. Some of the voids of the near universe are Capricornus Void, Sculptor Void, Boots Void, Columba Void, Kane's Major Void, Corona Borealis Void, Microscopium Void, etc. 3.9 The Great Attractor The Great Attractor is an immensely powerful gravitational anomaly that appears in the direction of Centaurus at about 200 million light years from the Earth. All galaxies within a radius of 250 million light years are flowing toward the Great Attractor on the order of 600 kilometers, Sekalak. The large-scale streaming motion is superimposed on Hubble's flow. The streaming motion includes the Virgo cluster, including our galaxy, the Hydra Centaurus supercluster, and other clusters. A mass of 1016 suns would account for such a powerful attraction. Detailed search by astronomers of that region of the sky finds 10 times too little visible matter. But... The Great Attractor is certainly there, as its gravitational influence is clearly visible. The core of the Great Attractor is in the Norma supercluster. The cause of the streaming motion may be shapely concentration as well. It is in the same direction, but at a greater distance. 3.10 Observational evidences cosmologists see near galaxies only. Those at great distances are too faint to be visible even with the most powerful telescopes. And it is difficult to perceive the distance. With painstaking efforts, cosmologists have collected enough data of the near universe, which show us up to second slash third sky. Figure 2.20, likely first and second sky. Figure 2.20 below is drawn with the data collected by NASA. I have drawn a probable boundary between the first sky and the second sky. The Great Attractor is put in the center of the first, innermost sky. The distribution of matter reveals the skies as spherical waves of space, one inside another, like the peels of onion. 
3.11. The first, innermost sky. We are in the first, innermost sky in light of the Quran, and built over you, the seven skies. Al-Quran 79-12. Quasars are among the oldest known objects in the universe. Some of them have been observed at distances of around 28 billion light-years away. They are visible due to their extraordinary brightness. Quasars at such distances appear to be evenly distributed in all directions of space and exhibit a red shift, indicating they are receding straight backward. This suggests that our vantage point is situated within the innermost region of the universe can be referred to as the first sky. The first sky contains the Centaurus supercluster with its extensions like Hydra extension, Virgo extension, Pavo extension, Norma supercluster, or my super wall. The great attractor is the center of the first sky, C fig. 2.20. The gravity exerted by the great attractor is so powerful that all objects in the first sky are drawn towards it. This gravitational pull can be understood as the tendency of matter to move along curved spacetime. Consequently, from the periphery of the first sky, space slopes down towards the center where the great attractor is located. In other words, the fabric of space is denser at the center of the first sky, and as one moves towards the edge, the fabric of space becomes thinner. The great attractor does not necessarily require a mass equivalent to 1016 suns to generate a gravitational force capable of pulling objects from distances as far as 250 million light years away. Instead, galaxies are drawn towards its direction due to the inherent structure of space formed by the overall distribution of matter within the first, innermost sky. The first sky is the core sky of the universe. Here the galaxy should concentrate in the form of supercluster. In the outer skies, they would form walls slash sheets. However, the Centaurus supercluster with its extensions looks like a wall. Centaurus wall. But, it is a circular concentration with Norma supercluster in the center. The Great Attractor is located in the Norma supercluster. As Norma supercluster is falling rapidly into the Great Attractor, it is associated with a small finger of God effect in the plots of galactic redshift velocities when viewed from the perspective of the solar system. The finger of God is an effect where distribution of galaxies is elongated in redshift space with the axis of elongation pointed toward the solar system. It is caused by a Doppler shift associated with the random peculiar velocities of galaxies. In case of Norma Finger of God, the galaxies in the far side of Great Attractor are blue shifted, and galaxies of the near side are red shifted, producing a small finger of God in the line of sight. All matter within a radius of approximately 250 million light-years is being drawn towards the Great Attractor. Therefore, the radius of the first sky should be around 300 million light-years, which includes adding half of the width of the surrounding belt of voids, 250 plus 50. 3.12 The second sky as depicted in Figure 2.20, the Great Wall, Perseus Pisces Wall, and Sculptor Wall, along with other co-located structures, form the second sky. The galaxies within the second sky are predominantly crowded together along its central plane, central sphere, resembling walls. This concentration of galaxies suggests that the fabric of space is denser within the central sphere of the second sky and gradually thinning out towards the edges. Therefore, the second sky is a supergiant spherical wave of space. From the edges of the second sky, the space is slopping down into the central sphere of the sky, where the galaxies are sliding down and forming walls. Only in a waved space, the galaxies should have tendency to move toward the central sphere of the wave and form walls. The formation of walls shows that the space of the universe is curved into waves, skies. 
The second sky looks 400 million light years wide, after adding half of the belt of void in each side. 50 plus 300 plus 50. The central plane of the second sky should be about 500 million light years away from the great attractor. Radius of first sky plus one half of the width of second sky equals 500 million light years. Like Norma Finger of God, the clusters falling into the central sphere of the second sky show the Finger of God phenomena. 3.13 The third sky In the following figure, the third sky looks 600 million light years wide, and its central belt, central sphere, is about 1,000 million light years away from the great attractor. 300 plus 400 plus 300. Figure 2.21 Likely second and third sky. So an outer sky is wider than the inner sky. On this scale, the radius of the universe may be estimated to be 5 to 7 billion light years at most. The universe appears much larger due to the warped space, skies, and the continuous closing of matter, galaxies, into the central spheres of the waves. This effect is further enhanced by the roll-up closing order of the universe, which is discussed in section 7 of chapter 30.3.14. The universe with seven skies, seven supergiant waves of space, make the seven skies of the universe. The waves of space are spherical, one inside another, like the peels of onion. The skies are not disconnected. The space, though waved, is continuous. Figure 2.22 Skies in two-dimensional waves In above figure, the skies are shown with two-dimensional waves. Outer skies, third to seventh, should be the same as the second sky, 0.3.15. Doors and paths of the skies It seems in figure 2.20 that the filaments are holding the galaxies from falling rapidly into the great attractor and into the central sphere of second sky. It seems as well that the filaments are making paths to cross the belts of voids. As the skies are waves of space, it should be difficult for anything to move from one sky to another. The filaments may be used by the jinns to move from one sky to another. The jinns are created from antimatter. In addition, there may be channels through the space. One diving into a portal of such channel would be shifted to a huge distance in a short period of time, 0.3.16. Conclusion of observational evidence Allah has curved space in disguise. The curvatures of space determine the directions in which galaxies to move and where they are to be collected. It has been observed that the galaxies of the first sky are closing toward the center of the first sky, great attractor, and the galaxies of the outer skies are flowing toward the central spheres of their respective skies. Within galaxies, objects move through their orbits following the local curvatures of space. 3.17 Other indications of the skies in a uniform universe. Gas would spread out evenly. However, as the universe structured into skies and the skies expanded, the matter conglomerated into vast formations, forming galaxies. Only a universe with curved space, skies, could expand rapidly while maintaining balance. There is another extraordinary feature pointed out by Stephen Hawking of Cambridge in 1973. If in the primordial fireball the expansion of the universe had differed by only one part in a million millionths from what it actually was, there would have been no possibility of the universe existing as we know it now. If the universe had expanded one million millionth parts faster, then all the material in the universe would have dispersed by now. There would have been no possibility of the gas being drawn together by gravity into stars. And if it had been a million millionth parts slower, then gravitational forces would have caused the universe to collapse within the first thousand million years or so its existence. Again, there would have been no long-lived stars and no life. Dawn of a New Era by Sir Bernard Lovell in the Encyclopedia of Space Travel and Astronomy, edited by John Mann Hawking, calculates that if the speed of expansion deviated by one million millionth parts, 
the stars could not form, or the universe would collapse by now. Our appearance was never in such grim probability, because the universe was waved in disguise. Here, tiny deviation in the rate of expansion would not matter much. The seven sky universe expands due to the dark energy as well, not due to the drive of the big bounce only. 4. Conclusion To conclude, one should understand from the context what the Quran means by sky. Skies. 4.1. In the Quran, sky, in singular form, means one of the followings. Sky may refer to the single sky universe of the preceding cycle. Moreover, infused his force, Thuma Istawa, into the sky, single sky universe of the preceding, first cycle, while it had been smoke. Al Quran 41 to 11. The resurrection of the dead will take place in the collapsed universe revived to the state of heavy mass, the call. When discussing about this time, the Quran has used the singular term of sky to refer to this superspace, space beyond the universe. And among his signs is this, that the sky, superspace, and land, the call, stand still on his command. Then, when he calls you by a single call from the land, Thakal, behold ye come forth. Al-Quran 30-25 We see the stars of the Orion Spur by our naked eye. The Quran has used singular sky to mean the spur as local sky. And we adorned the sky of the earth, Sama Aydunya, with lights and with protection. Such is the decree of the exalted in might, full of knowledge. Al-Quran, 41-12, 4.2. In the Quran, skies, in plural form, may mean one of the followings. Skies often mean the universe as a whole, seven skies, he who created the seven skies one above another. Not you see in the creation of most gracious any disparity. Al-Quran 67, 03. Skies sometimes mean protective layers of atmosphere and magnetosphere. Who has made the earth your couch, and the skies your canopy, and sent down rain from the skies, and brought forth therewith fruits for your sustenance? Then set not up rivals unto God when ye know the truth. Al-Quran 2.22.5 Summary The skies of the universe are waves of space, one inside another, like the peels of onions.